Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So last uh, episode of Project Bobby B, I was asking the question on why my tail lights weren't coming on, why they wouldn't stay on when the lights were on, uh, and a lot of people pointed at the fuse block. Um, I so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mess around with the LED. I'm gonna clean them all, but for this one, I'm gonna mess around with the red wires. Uh, should go to the brake lights, um, clean off the terminals, and then put some dielectric grease on it and see if that takes care of the issue. Uh, hopefully it will. And then uh, once I know that that's the leading cause, uh, I might order myself a new fuse box, uh, but with the parts all backward the way they are, I'll probably just, just for the time being clean this one and just uh, have it sit in my cart ready to come whenever <laughs> COVID's over. So uh, let's go ahead and get start tackling that and see what happens. So I've misplaced my dielectric grease. Um, I'm gonna have to find it to complete this, but for now, we'll go ahead and see if we can just clean some of these terminals. So what I'm gonna use here is a steel wire brush and a, uh, these are airbrush cleaning kit little thing from uh, Harbor Freight, it's like $3. So these will be used for the female connectors and this will be used for the, the ends here. And uh, then when we get the dielectric grease, we'll put a layer on to hopefully Enhance the connection. So I'm gonna take these guys off. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's dirt. Let me get some of that out. Definitely need to find the dielectric grease. Charlie. This is from just those little connectors. I only did three of them pretty quick as you saw. A ton of dirt coming out. Let's see how the lights. Hit the switch. The switch is a little finicky, so the switch might have a problem too. Interior lights are on, headlights are on, one light's still dim, and tail lights are on. Sweet. All right guys, so the good news is the tail lights work. Um, I'm gonna go take it out for a spin right now, first night drive, because I've never driven at night. Uh, I got one sh really bad headlight, one really good headlight, so I'm just gonna go down the down and back road and come back with my dog. Um, not too far, uh, but yeah, we're gonna enjoy it. Uh, definitely need to put some dielectric grease on there on the connections, all the connections. Uh, there's an either, uh, they'll come on sometimes, uh, so there's definitely, um, not making great contact somewhere so we're gonna dial it put, put we're gonna clean up the contacts on the switch put some dial grease on there and then do the same thing for the uh, fuse block but that should be the way forward and it should resolve this issue that I'm having so everybody that commented I really appreciate it and uh, yeah I definitely it's definitely works so uh, as soon as I find my big tube of dielectric I will take care of it all right guys I'm gonna take this night drive here we go all right guys, so as you can see, just by jiggling the cables around a little bit, we were able to get the tail lights on, the, uh, the license plate lights on, the, su the left side markers on, the right side markers for whatever reason 
still won't come on. Uh, so the left front side markers on, and the headlights. Well, one works, one sort of works. Uh, I think it's going to be time to upgrade to the LED Angel Eyes soon, so I think I'm going to want to do that. I just got to uh, order them off of Amazon. I think they're sitting in my cart, um, but they should kind of bring a modern touch to this car, and I think they look really good. Uh, wiring them, I'm sure, will be fun, uh, but I think that based on their size, I should be able to retain my uh, gravel guards, and if they don't like the way they look with the gravel guards, then I'll just remove them. But uh, yeah, I might go ahead and get those ordered and uh, get them in here. Uh, then I can wire in the turn signals uh, rings into it, so that'd be kind of neat. My loyal dog just went for a ride, and now he doesn't want to get out. Want to get out, Charlie? Want to get out? Oh, I guess he does want to get out. <laughs> he sat in there for about 30 minutes, tried to get him out earlier. Come on, big man. Oof, careful. Getting older. Okay, everybody, that's going to do it for today's video. Again, I can't thank everybody enough for uh, commenting on the posts on all the MG groups uh, and helping me troubleshoot why the taillights weren't coming on. Uh, we were able to get them on. They worked. They were staying on. Uh, I couldn't find my tube of dielectric grease I ordered a few days ago. I have a big old tube here somewhere, and I just can't find it, so it's around. I'll find it, and then I'll hit those contacts that we cleaned and you know help kind of like reinforce the connection. Um, if you enjoyed that video please like and subscribe i got some big changes coming to the car uh, and some more preventative maintenance uh, videos that just stuff that's due from the car sitting for 30 years um, but i got some i got some cool things coming and uh, i don't want you guys to miss it so please like and subscribe and uh yeah you'll see here shortly what what, what i have what's uh what's on its way it's gonna be fun all right guys take care